everybody and welcome back to Ocarina Time. I'm a Nick. On the last episode, we went up Zora's River, went to Zora's Domain, and ended up here in Lake Hylia after acquiring a scale. And we even got a letter in a bottle. Fancy that. Let's actually equip that for a moment and see what's in it. Huh? It looks like there's something already inside this bottle. It's a letter. Help me, I'm waiting for you inside Lord Jabu Jabu's belly, Ruto. P.S. Don't tell my father. And then you put the letter back in the bottle because you have nothing else to do with it. I'm gonna just throw these back on. And for probably what's gonna be a decent amount of today's episode, we're gonna go fishing. Yep, we go fishing. Well, do you wanna go fishing for 20 rupees? Sure. Oh no, you don't have a rumble pack. You know, that attachment you put on the bottom of your Nintendo 64 controller. Or a feature that can't really be used in any other version of the game because, you know, they don't have rumble support. All right, listen up. You walk up to the water's edge and you press Z to look at a fish. While looking at a fish, you can cast your line with B or you can just press B to cast your line anyway. And you can press A to break the line. And you use a control stick to wiggle it around. You can also use B. You reel in with A and you hold A and R to reel it in faster. You feel a hit, you press A and down to set the hook. After that, you reel it in. Yeah, I understand. I'm so generous, I'll let you fish for as long as you want. However, you can keep only one fish. Biggest fish ever caught here weighs six pounds. After you cast, you can change your view with the Z button. Let's fish! Oh boy! This minigame has... Depending on if a fish feels like if it wants to or not... Yeah, this game can take a little while. I think I want to fish over this way? I think that's the one I want. Come on! Hook! Hook? Come on. Oh, is this the one? I think it is. I don't know. Come on. I don't think it is because this is too easy. Come on. Is it? Well, well, it's about four pounds. Fuck you, fish. You're not the one I want. Because usually the one I want is hanging around this tree branch. It's a little hard to see because water's super murky. Well, oh, that's just the texture. Come on. Come on. I think I got him this time. I think this is the one. I think it. I think I remember you have to also like tilt your stick to the left and right to make sure he doesn't break away. Which I don't think that's something they talk about. Oh well. Dems the brakes. Come on, fish. Mine. You are mine. You be mine today. I will it so. Come on. So close. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Here's a real luncher. Ten pounds. That's the fish we want. All right. That didn't take as long as I thought it was. Huh. Anyway, we want to go talking to this guy now. What do you want? Please weigh my fish. Whoa! This fish is huge. Looks like a new record. Weighs at least ten pounds. Seriously. Okay, here's your prize. Boom! Another piece of heart. There, I'm just roll. Oh, I need to give the fishing rod back because he won't let you leave with it unless you do glitches. Yes, I want to quit. And I want to get at least five more rupees. I have a reason for this. Uh, there's a rupee. And I know there's a bunch of grass over there that I want to cut. Not specifically that one, but that grass will do, I guess. Alright. Seven. Come on. 
eight. So close. I can feel it. Oh! Actually, bugs! I want to actually, uh... Oh, uh, screw it. I'll let those bugs be. But I actually want to empty my bottles at this point. Yeah, I know that was a waste of a fairy, but it was mainly used for explanation, and I'm in no real danger anyway. So I'm just gonna go drinking! Responsible, I swear. I'm just gonna chug it all down. Just, you know, get a little tipsy because somehow they put a bit of alcoholic content in there. Yeah, not like I'm making a reference to something else or something like that. Nine, ten. That's enough. Uh, I don't think there's anywhere else to get bugs. So I think we're just... Instead of warping back, I'm just gonna leave because there's a couple extra things I want to hit now that we're in the area. Yeah, we're doing all this bonus shit because I feel like it. And it's close enough. Also, there's an owl right there. I don't feel like talk- I don't feel like triggering him, but I feel like I may have to get close enough to do so. Cause, believe it or not, there's a secret down here and I need to change my shield back. There we go. Come on. Wait. No, not quite right. Come on. Is it right here? on, it's here somewhere, I know it. There it is! There's a hidden grotto right here. Oh, I triggered him. What do you know? Boy, how on here lays Lake Hylia? I think I saw you over there a moment ago. Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to hear your shit again, because no one wants to hear me. I'm sad. Yeah, I'm just gonna be roasting that owl whenever he appears from now on. There's a random merchant scrub here. I want to talk to this guy. How right you win in return I'm sparing me. I will sell you a piece of heart. One piece is ten rupees. Yeah, I want that shit. Gimme. Gimme, motherfucker. And refund me three rupees. Uh, I don't think that's the word I'm looking for, but... Three cent... Three rupees change. Whatever. I'll just backflip over this fence and go to the left, because that's where I want to be. Don't worry, we'll be dealing with the letter next episode, and that's a pea hat that spawns little pea hats. Yeah. We're just going to ignore them and keep rolling. And hey, look! It's Keppera Gebra again! Whee! Who's up for more owl roasting? I know I am! Think! Wake up, buddy! Hoo-hoo! Head south from here to reach Lake Hylia's... Whatever! Who cares? You don't even want to listen to me anyway. Oh, pff. I did... I just did that. Yeah... If you know your Zelda, it's literally... Oh, hello! How are you doing? I don't want to be eaten anywhere near you! Fuck off. Yeah. Then again, I think everybody gets the point by now, but... I want to head over here because... There's a few things... Well, there's two specific things I want. And I like these two very specific things, and I need to keep rolling. Welcome to Gerudo Valley. I'm sad I'm over here at night, actually. Damn. Uh, over here is a gold skulltula I can't reach just yet, so I'm just going to ignore him for now. We can't get that just yet. But what I do want is this cuckoo. We're gonna go flying. We're gonna go... Whee! Gee, I wonder if I'll make it over the waterfall. Except I'm gonna hit invisible wall like that. Totally doesn't look awkward or anything. Yeah, we're just gonna fly into the wall. 
because there's totally something back here. Yep. Totally another piece of art. And if you're wondering, yes, the other thing I want is another piece of art. So for the time being, we're just gonna go flying. There's a land over here. Because there's a person with a cow down here, which is strange. Uh, there's a box over here. What's... And they're questioning my logic. And actually, you're actually gonna have to give me just a second. I'm getting meowed at by a cat. I'll be right back. Anyway, now I'm back. And they're like, hey, as long as you're down here, may as well make the best of it. Also, you get to hear the awesome, uh, Gerudo Valley music that everyone loves. And it's just a ruby. Free fall into the waterfall! Whew! Ugh, I'm out of breath for a moment there for some reason. Oh well. Let's keep going, and this warps us right back to Lake Hylia. Thing is, we're actually gonna see you right at, uh... Ugh. We're gonna go to fucking Gerudo Valley again, because we have to do one more cuckoo jump. Uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in just a second. Okay, and we're back, and if anything, there's no point trying to go over to the Gerudo Fortress. There's physically no way for Link to get there. Anyway, I want to fly to this random ass box that's all the way up on the canyon, and then I want to roll into it for a final piece of heart. Hooray! Yeah. And we're gonna go diving! Again! And then I'm gonna... I can't even draw my sword when I'm in that diving animation. Woo! Anyway, now that we're back at Lake Hylia, now is the time to take that teleporter all the way back over to Zora's Domain. That's fun, right? I mean, it's good getting pieces of heart. Just knock them right out. Yeah, we have to take that letter over to uh, King Zora, because that letter is from Princess Ruto, the one he is looking for. And that way, we also get another empty bottle out of the process. Although, while I'm here, I'm gonna go swimming this way. Cuz... Let's uh, open that menu, grab a bottle, and there's some fish swimming here. I want them. I want these fish in my life. And then I'll switch the uh, bottle over to the letter. That'll be fun. Come on, Link. Let's get rolling. Ah, camera. Gotta love ya. There's not really much more to this episode, don't worry. I'm just gonna give the letter and that'll be that. Just gotta get up there first. See target, and then show the bottle. Oh, this letter? It's from Princess Ruto! Hmm, let's see. She's inside Lord Jabu Jabu? That's not possible! Our guardian god, Lord Jabu Jabu, would never eat my dear Princess Ruto. But since that stranger Ganondorf came here, Lord Jabu Jabu's been a little green around the gills. The evidence seems clear. Of course she'll go find Ruto. We can pass through here to the altar of Lord Jabu Jabu. I'll keep this letter. You keep the bottle she was in. Take it respectfully. Please find my dear Princess Ruto immediately, Zora. Thank you. 